That's a very tough question because a new normal is quite restrictive. The mm -hmm. kind of social gathering that we are used to, we are no longer able to, you know, to hold. But I must say that we are moving towards more uh, normalized uh, social gathering. For a start, just to do e-payments yes. and also sing pass. And how will the elderly adapt to these changes? You're right, right? I mean, I have the same, I have yeah, the same I'm response so scared, as well. You know, for <laughs> our seniors, you know, exactly. they don't even know how to turn on the phone, Wi-Fi. Absolutely. E-payment is so, another so, level. So my, my, own, my own parents, for example, yeah. my mother refused to touch a handphone yes. until recently because of COVID, because of circuit breaker. What pushed her? <laughs> Korean drama. Oh. Of yeah, course, on the iPad. Yeah. They are suckers. Yeah, suckers. Korean drama, <laughs> and then also, um, you know, YouTube mm -hmm. and Facebook of their great grandchildren, mm -hmm. video of their great grandchildren. Mm -hmm. But if you think about it, if an elderly is able to do simple transaction, mm -hmm. including sing pass, mm -hmm. including payments, mm -hmm. actually, his he or she is able to access a lot more options out there. Some of our groups are starting to do that. Um, they are doing it in small group of two or three, teaching the elderly how to use a smartphone. Mm -hmm. Some of them has gone on to Zoom yes. as well. But it showed that actually if the elderly are given the time and space and patience, yes, patience. and empathy, mm -hmm. uh, they are able to learn. In fact, they are able to, able to do quite a lot digitally. Mm -hmm. So actually, the full-time job, as I mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. is going to be disrupted, Yes, right? Definitely. Because the companies are struggling. Some mm -hmm. of the companies are not fully open yet. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the jobs are being disrupted. So I think for some of the graduates or newly graduated youth, uh, they will have to be prepared that it's going to take a bit more time to find a job. I graduated in 1985 in the recession year and I think it took two years mm -hmm. for my batch of uh, students to be fully employed. So it's going to be that kind two of... Two years is a very long time yes, instead of one for year. Yeah. fresh yeah. graduates to take on temp yes. jobs, contract jobs. Yes, but you see that's where I think the COVID generation has to make a mark, mm -hmm. right? If you are only looking out for a full-time job mm -hmm. and not do anything in the meantime, mm -hmm. then two years later, a prospective employer is going to come to you and say, you have not done much mm -hmm. in that two years. Yes. And I think it's always good to give yourself a try at mm -hmm. things that's new. It's really mm -hmm. to understand your own, yourself better, your attributes, your strength. So I think to the youth out there, take a very open mind, mm -hmm. right? Take up things that looks interesting that you didn't have a chance to do and give it a try, mm -hmm. you know? If you think that you are an outgoing person, do sales, do, mm -hmm. you know, go to the supermarket, right? Do, do stock, infantry. That, that's what I tell my own children as well. Mm -hmm. Try out something that's in the front line, mm -hmm. right? See for yourself if you're able to do that. If you are able to do that, you build up confidence in meeting people. You are able to speak, you are able to persuade. If you are able to sell things to people, you must really be confident, yes. right? Yeah, so that's a way to pick up soft skills as well. The government actually announced a scheme to do dollar for dollar matching mm -hmm. when we contribute money into their CPF retirement fund account. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking that, you know, it sounds like a wonderful idea, but mm -hmm. what about those who do not have children? or they do not, the children do not have the ability to contribute. Mm -hmm. So I thought that we should help, the community should help the um, elderly who have very little or no CPF savings. Mm -hmm. um, so my idea is to find 200 residents who is prepared to adopt and sponsor an elderly, $600. Mm -hmm. uh, so when we put $600, that's the cap that the government has okay. put in place. So when we put $600 into the CPF, the government tops up $600. So it's really a community for community scheme. Okay. So I, I think that will benefit the elderly because mm -hmm. they have more savings. They are able to feel more secure about their retirement.